Happy lunchtime, friends. I wanted to take this opportunity to give you some of Danny's definitions during today's lunch lessons. I know sometimes I bounce around terms. I remember even using the, the term crop and finding out that some people didn't know what crop was other than the stuff that grows in the ground outside. So I'm going to talk to you just for a minute about some of the words that and terms that I use and hopefully we'll be able to clear some of those up. And I brought out the inner school teacher in me and um, have everything on chalkboards for you. So and it also gives me an opportunity because I'm going live without a um, PowerPoint to show you the beautiful necklace that my 16 year old got for me for my birthday last week, which was super fun left on his bicycle and came back with a necklace from a real jewelry store. I was a little shocked by the uh, presentation. So the first thing is we're calling this the gig is up because I've been talking a lot lately about gigs, gigabytes, using the abbreviation GB, um, but it dawned on me later. Some of you may not really know what that is, and I'm not going to get into technical definitions because quite frankly, you probably don't care. But a gig is the unit of measure that we use to determine the size for your storage. Forever gives you two gigabytes for free. A gigabyte, each unit of measure, will hold between 250 and 500 photos, videos, files of whatever type. I have over almost 15,000 files in my account so far, and when I calculated that what's being used currently, I'm getting about 450, and I have a mix of large format, large res resolution photos um, from my DSLR or my big digital with the big zoom lens and everything, as well as pictures from my phone, um, from the kids' phones, some videos, and some scanned um, documents. So, so all of those things are in my file, and I'm averaging about 450 per gigabyte. Um, we also, I've also talked, to, I'm sorry, let's go back up here for a minute. So when I'm talking to you about what it costs per gigabyte for storage, what I'm telling you is you're paying for those units of measure and as it goes down, as you buy larger quantity, it goes down in price per gigabyte. So to draw a comparison to um, something that you buy in bulk, whatever it is, um, whether you buy large quantities of toilet paper at Costco versus buying the small packs at the convenience store, we know that by getting it in the larger quantity, we're pay paying less per piece than when we buy the small packs. So think about it that way when you're thinking about gigabytes. And as with most things, the largest quantity that you can afford to purchase at one time, the cheaper the price is going to be per gigabyte. And remember, with our storage, you buy it one time. You never pay another maintenance fee on that aspect of storage. So with the thought in mind that you want to buy the biggest pack of storage you can at one time, we do have a great special coming up. I think the next really awesome deal on storage is on the 14th, these 24-hour specials that they're, they're running for 14 days here in June. So watch for that. The other thing to consider is tomorrow actually is our club special during these 24-hour deals. And Forever Club is like a stash. It's putting your cash into a shoebox somewhere that nobody else can touch it. In this case, it's going to be withdrawn from your bank account or your credit card and put into a stash in your forever account so that whenever you want to make a purchase, you just pull funds from there. So if you're looking at a bigger purchase down the road um, or um, a couple months from now, or you just want to start banking money so that you can print calendars for everyone for Christmas or do something fun like that, Forever Club is a great option. So when I refer to Forever Club, that is something that you pay into, but 100% of what you pay in it comes back to you whenever you want to use it. So you use it for almost for anything in the in the forever, in the Forever um, business opportunities, and you can use it for storage or um, conversion or anything. Okay. So Forever Club is something you pay for. No obligation. No expiration dates. You decide the level that you pay for it at um, whatever you want to contribute per month. And for every three months that you have the same level of contribution consecutive months, you get free storage added to your account. So that's a nice little perk. Plus there are specials coming up. So if you join club tomorrow, um, you'll get a free photo book up to a 19.99 value. So that would be the, the paperback 21-page um, book that you would be making at night before that coupon. Um, and then our club weekend is typically the third weekend of the month. So they're probably trying to get you to join club tomorrow so that you're prepared for whatever they have special for us club members um, the next weekend. Okay, so let's take a minute to talk about storage and streaming. 
So storage is where you have your, your gigabytes are your storage and your gigabytes are where you hold your um, files for videos, for photos, for documents that you've scanned, legal documents, wills, birth certificates, anything along, anything that you want to keep permanently and be able to pass down to future generations is stored in your storage or your gigabytes. So that's all your files. Now for video, video storage versus video streaming are two very different things. Streaming video is a different kind of use of our cloud. So if you think about Netflix, you're paying $15.99 a month for four devices. You can play things on four devices. You will always pay that amount. Um, with our streaming services, you can do, you have three options. You can purchase for $11.99 a month, you can turn it on and off when you wish. You can um, pay to stream your videos directly from your account, which means that if I send you a link to a video that I have taken that your kid is in, you can watch it over and over and over again because I've paid for video streaming services. When my account is passed down to my children, if I have the lifetime one-time payment of, for streaming video, um, that will be passed down to my children along with my account. So when we say permanent, we really mean permanent, and that's pretty unique in, in the world in any kind of industry. So streaming videos. When you um, have videos stored in your account, you can't stream them from your account. You would download it to your device and watch it from there. If you add the streaming or the premium video service, then you can watch them directly from your app or your online account or you can email it to a friend and they can watch it without having to download it. So it's a really awesome service. You have, again, your monthly option, your yearly option, or the lifetime plan. And whenever you decide to go for that lifetime plan, anything you've paid in for the preceding 12 months for a monthly or a yearly account, it's credited toward that. So if you can't afford to do the full amount right now, go ahead and start with the monthly and at the end of the deal, it'll be, it'll be deducted from what you've already paid in. So mm -hmm. that's a pretty neat feature. Forever does everything we can to make sure that we, your stuff's as permanent um, and as available to you as it can be. Okay, media and the conversion experience. Let's start by talking about media. I use the term media all the time. Different um, areas of, of the world use it in different ways. Art, artists talk about their media, mediums, and we talk about our media. Um, we have the news media, so media is all over the place. For us, media means anything that you have in print, on video, in a digital file, that's your media. It's all the stuff that you're storing in your storage gigabytes. Um, and we have a complete list that I'd be happy to send to you. I can post it in the comments or in a separate post on um, Danny's Pixel Chicks Forever. But we can convert audio, video, film reels, slides, the list is, is quite large. So probably whatever you have, we can probably convert it. I even sent some proprietary CDs that my computer wouldn't read because they were older. So I sent those in and Forever was able to get the files off of there for me. So that was pretty cool. So media, when I use the term media, I'm not talking about fake news or real news or any of that kind of news. I'm talking about real memories that really matter. There's nothing fake about them, okay? Next, the conversion experience. When I talk about a conversion box or a conversion order or a group conversion box, I'm talking about all of this media that we send to Forever to be converted to current digital files. And the really cool thing about our conversion versus all the other conversion out there, aside from the fact that it's white glove service, hands in, in one individual taking care of your entire order, making sure everything's done properly. The other thing that's really awesome about our conversion is that we guarantee that when you put your converted files into our storage, our gigabytes that you've purchased, we're going to make sure those files migrate into new file types. So we all know we've lived, many of us have lived through, um, we went from, originally it was beta tapes, I think, and then VHS is what I remember, then it went to DVD, and now our kids are looking at Blu-rays. So we've seen what happens to file types. We also went eight track cassettes, CDs, now we don't have anything physical. So we, we know about changing of file types. With conversion through forever, once, it's in, once your media is in your storage account, it's going to be migrated to the next file type that comes down the pike at no expense to you because about 70% of your storage fees, your, what you've paid for your gigabytes, goes into a special guarantee fund 
um, to make sure that all of that is taken care of in the future, okay? And that it's passed down to your children or your cats or whoever you plan to leave things to. Next, real quick, I want to touch on artisan versus print. Print is our online application. So that's where you go in and you select a design that you like and you drag and drop. And in 15 minutes, you've created a canvas. In an hour or two, you've created a whole storybook. You send it off to be printed. Um, and we have a great sale coming up. I think that I think it's still coming up, the one um, that's 50% off of print of storybooks toward the toward the end of the sale sometime before the 19th and I can't see the date right now um, but you can create canvases um, photo books calendars and cards in our forever print online application you can even do that in your on your phone or your iPad or through your web browser on there we also have artisan software that's a different beast altogether it's awesome it's fun it's amazing design opportunities but if you want quick this isn't it. You can do quicker and you can do not at all quick with Artisan, but if you want super quick, you want print. And just a, a word of, to mention Historian. Historian is our software that we use to edit and store photos on a hard drive. And it is a very good software, has a great backup system built into it called shadow copying. Um, and I love it for e editing photos and for weeding out the ones I don't really want to keep forever in my storage account. So if you have so many photos on your computer or in your cloud account or wherever they might be that you're looking at, um, you know, having to buy two terabytes of storage, maybe you want to start with Historian and pull some in there and edit and delete and, and weed them out and have them backed up safely on there. Um, and you're probably not going to lose your photos when they're stored on Historian because you have them on a hard drive and an external hard drive, uh, but then you can get them into your um, permanent account as well. Okay, finally, the last one I'm going to talk about here this morning because I ran out of chalkboards are event types. Um, I talk on my on my pages about different kinds of events, and they, this I think this lists pretty much all of them. Friday night clicks is a new name that I've given to um, times that I'm setting aside, which will usually be Friday nights because they seem to work best for our family's schedule. Um, Friday night clicks will be when I offer time for you to come here or we'll meet at one of the coffee shops downtown um, and just spend a few hours clicking around, learning, asking questions. If you already have a storage account, come and use our Wi-Fi to upload and, and tag and, and sort your things into albums. Or we can talk about what to do with a conversion order. We can do a group conversion order box. You can do an individual conversion box. Conversion boxes are going to be 20% off on the 17th, I believe. 18th of June. Um, so you'll have 24 hours to get a conversion box ordered at 20% off. That's a great deal when you think about how labor intensive that is. So Friday night clicks are a great time for you to bring whatever you want to work on in your storage account or in a conversion order and get some help with it or just have the peace and quiet and space and free snacks and glass of wine that we offer you. Okay. Coffee shop hours, can't offer you wine there because that's somebody else's deal. Just come in, buy yourself a cup of coffee, and hang out and chat and click if you want to. This one I do need RSVPs for um, pretty, uh, you know, enough in advance that I can cancel the, the hold on the room if we're not going to have enough people there to do it, and then we'll just move it over to my house. Um, but just trying to give you two locations here in Carlisle where we can get together. Another, two other opportunities I have are the, the weekend long events, the retreat that I hold in March, the Mardi Gras retreat, February or March, um, is for croppers and curators. So that's where both parts of my business convene. Um, we have people there who are scrapbooking with cut and paste and paper and albums. And we have people there who are clicking and curating. So everybody's welcome. We have a lot of fun. There's a bar upstairs. There's a massage therapist that comes um, on Saturdays and just time for you to relax, kick back and celebrate the memories that you've made. Pixel parties are a little less structured than the retreat. The pixel party starts at, uh, on a Friday and ends on a Sunday, so it's still a weekend-long event. Um, but with these, I do offer times for just Friday, just Saturday, just Monday. The retreat, I just do registration for the full time. And then finally, a crop. Crop is a term that I've always used, and like I said, some people think only of plants when they hear crop. Um, for a crop, that's just when we get together, and I probably will continue to, to use that term even when I'm talking about curating and um, uh, updating your storage and tagging photos and things like that. Um, so that's what that is. And then a Zoom, if you haven't seen Zoom meetings, that's really cool. We can do a 40-minute meeting or so. 
um, where we have a couple of people come together and ask questions. I just send you my link. We all click in at the same time. You can see your picture, so you don't want to be naked. But other than that, you know, pretty much anything's game. Some days I have bedhead and pajamas on, and some days I actually get ready before the meeting. So just a, that was just a quick overview of some of our terminology. If any of that wasn't clear or I babbled too quickly or too much, let me know, and I'll clarify anything you need. Um, the two topics that I want to try to talk to you about, hopefully on Friday, um, I think that's the way my schedule is going to work this week. Um, we're going to talk to you about security at Forever. We have bank level security on our stuff, and I'm sure some of you want to know some of the technicalities of that. I'm not going to go into a great length, but I'll give you an overview. The other one is user agreements. Um, my friend Lori, who's on here right now, she just talked this morning about having just checked an agreement recently. And as soon as she did it, she's like, I didn't even read it. We never read it. We just click OK. And sometimes um, some of these things you need to be aware of what you've clicked on and what you stand to lose um, if their system fails. So that's all for me for today. If you have any questions, please give me a call, PM, or comment here on this post. And I will hopefully see you and talk to you all soon. Oh, Friday night. I'm going to be having a Friday night click here this week. And it will be, let me double check the times here. It will be from 7, no, I'm looking at the wrong calendar. It will be from 7 to, I'm sorry, 6 to 10 here at, our, at Danny's Pixel Chicks HQ, 6 to 10. Of course, pretty much any time you show up, I should be home, so it's all right. All right, see you all soon, and thanks for joining me.